right, so I was just driving down the road and found this guy. Hello. Look, he's a cute dog. He let me pet, let me catch him. So good thing he's got a collar, a tag on him. Or her, I guess, Wendy, huh? Let's go find your house. Your address is on there. Hey, we could hang out for a while, right? We could hang out. All right, 155 we're looking for. 217. Well, I think we're going the wrong way. What we got there? No number. Hey, yeah, you excited? Yes, you are. 250, well, all right, we're going the wrong way. You live the other way. We're gonna turn around. Nice spot to turn around here. You just got in some stranger's car and you're excited about it. This thing, it runs out of traction or power way before it should, so that's someone coming to help me.
actually has power to it. It does? Yeah. I've never tried it. So is there an outlet yes. up there? Yes. Yes, there is. Oh, hey, I got a short. And hey, where's the short extension cord? He's got a power outlet up there. We're just not sure if it works. So we just made a modification to the lift here. And we're going to try its power. It's got a plug up there somewhere. Is this it? Hey, hey, Joe, I, I I, think this is the plug here for it. Uh, oh, you got to plug it into there? Yeah, but I'm noticing it's a weird plug. Yeah, I didn't know. Uh, I've never I've never tried. I think that's it. So it's like... That would make sense, yep. Um, I don't think we're plugging it. It's a 30 amp. That. Yeah. Oh, well. Well, it was a good idea. Yeah. I'll go back to plan B. Okay. To see what it will run. Stop. Okay, let it down. You know why it won't come down? Because we didn't take the plastic off it. The spool's wrapped in plastic. Leave the thing right up in the air, lower that hoist down and Okay. It all right, cable up. That won't lift that up. Here, I'll help it. Good. You're good. Yeah, those 440 things. 440. Well, that should be lifting these things then. Yeah, they're less than 200. Yeah. Oh, it sounds like the electric's tripping out. Like there's a break or something that keeps tripping. Hey, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got a knife here. You want to cut that out of there? I don't see how that's doing anything. I don't either. Okay. Is, is, it, is it that safety switch stopping it? Maybe. But Where's your safety, safety Right here. This here. When this goes up, it shuts that's the unit off. Shut off. Well, that's what like, something keeps clicking. Won't let me pick up. That's gotta be it then. Oh, because you're pulling up against it. Right. Can you just take it right off? I'll put it a little That's your answer. Alright, I, I guess you want us to disable this safety feature? Uh, I can't even see what it looks like. It's so. it's a thing that's it's a thing that's up, so yeah. No, the spray here, just bend. Actually if you just take these two screws out, it'll take it'll yeah, just like two little things. Anyone got a, thing right anyone got a, anyone got a Phillips? Yeah, toolbox my truck. Switch. All right. Good. Okay, wheeling her out more.
All right, so here we are the next day, and uh, that got my friend kind of just did the whole job himself. And he said the boom lift worked really well. From adding that winch to the bottom of the bucket really helped. But there it is, the finished job. So the next step is going to be, well, putting the roof on and the walls and everything else to finish this house. But uh, that worked pretty well using the boom lift to do that. And I got uh, Levi and his girlfriend Sadie here to inspect it. Hey, Sadie. Sadie. And uh, about two years ago, we did a welding job on this excavator bucket where we put this new plate on the bottom. And uh, he said that's been working out really well for him. He's been getting a lot of use out of this machine here for building this house. Thank you. 